Hello and welcome back to more info about Driven by Mars. Version 8.90 is online and it comes with a cool new feature for the Generic Flexi. Generic Flexi is an extension which allows you to map any controller to Bitwig and it now has a new feature. If the controller is also a synthesizer or you just add a synthesizer, you have now the option to introduce program change banks. What does it mean? For example, I have here my hardware devices I use more hardware in the last time as well so for example my good old X station from Novation or here Quark Prophecy and if you now open the document settings you see here there is a flexi in here for the prophecy and the prophecy has now here this option to choose program so the prophecy has two banks of A and one of B patches and you can now go in there and select a patch so you can play now the patch and I can go to different one and directly control that from Bitwig. Also, if you have selected that field before, you can go there with the cursor up and down. You can also flip quickly through the different sounds. How do you do that? If you go into the generic flexi settings, you see nothing because there is actually no specific setting for that. You just need to create a generic flexi instance here. And what you need to do is, as you normally do, you need to save such a properties file. And as you see, I didn't do any mapping at all here, but the system automatically checks when it starts if there is a second file with the ending program. So if you look here in the folder where I put my generic flexi configurations you see for the X station or for the prophecy here there is also a programs file and this programs file contains uh, these banks if we open up that you see here the prophecies file and this contains uh, all these patch names and you need to have such a header which tells the generic flexi what to put here in the list so the first one is simply uh, the name so here you can enter any string for your bank. I simply entered here the AXX which you see then here as well. So this is the name here AXX and then you need to tell the system what is the most significant byte and the least significant byte. These are the numbers which address the bank on your synthesizer. You can read that up in the manual of your synthesizer or simply try to find that out if you use for example a tool like MediOx and send some program changes there. Normally you can find pretty quickly what are the normal numbers here it's just the first bank so it's zero and zero and the synthesizer is configured to receive that on MIDI channel one so this is starting here with zero so zero is MIDI channel one and this goes up to 15 and if you have multiple banks you need to have such headers here as well so you see down there this is the second bank the BXX bank as I named it here and this has just the least significant byte is here number one so it's a second bank here in a synthesizer which is addressed like this. After this header string you get then the patches so this is program change 0, program change 1 and so on and you can enter here any text you like in each row and these are up to 127 rows for each bank. If we for example look at the matrix brew the addressing here is a little bit different so it has this matrix of 16 to 16 pads which store also the sounds or where you can access the sounds. With them uh, you have for each row have a different MSP so the first row is MSP 0, the next one is 1 and 2, 3 and so it goes on and uh, you can also set here the other things and also here uh, uh, name so let's have a look this is the next flexi here you see now the programs here of the matrix brute and you see the different banks I configured so the different rows and you can select then also here the patches also note if you select one here from one bank it will turn off the other one here as well and these are also then remembered for each song or each document yeah so much for this tool I think pretty handy because you can directly control now fully your hardware also select the banks now and if you did so and uh, use your hardware as well make some funky music